friends today we would be doing the identification of zinc ions zinc belongs to group 4 cation and the group reagent is hydrogen sulfide in presence of ammonium hydroxide first of all we would be preparing the original solution also called the os for preparing the os we take the solid salt in a test tube and we add distilled water as the salt of zinc is soluble in water it easily dissolves in water giving a clear solution now we would be passing hydrogen sulfide gas through the salt solution For students for practical purposes we should always do the cation analysis starting from group 0 hence for students for practical purposes you should pass the hydrogen sulfide gas through the os containing the group 3 reagent that is the ammonium hydroxide here since we already know that it is a zinc salt hence we are taking the original solution and directly passing the hydrogen sulfide gas for passing the hydrogen sulfide gas in your laboratory there must be a kipps apparatus If there is no Kipps apparatus you can prepare the hydrogen sulfide by mixing ferrous sulfide with dilute sulfuric acid here i have passed the gas through the original solution and you can observe the formation of a white precipitate The next step is to try to dissolve this precipitate in dilute hydrochloric acid since our objective is to dissolve this precipitate in dilute acid we take some amount of the precipitate in a test tube and now we will be adding the dilute acid You can observe that on adding the hydrochloric acid the precipitate dissolves and the solution turns clear The white precipitate formed was zinc sulfide and zinc sulfide reacted with the hydrochloric acid forming zinc chloride which is soluble in water. Now that we have dissolved the precipitate we divide the solution into two parts. To the first part we will be adding sodium hydroxide and to the second part we add potassium ferrocyanide. We move on to the first part of the solution. Here I have taken the first part of the solution and I am adding the sodium hydroxide solution. You can observe that initially there is no reaction because the added sodium hydroxide reacted with the already present hydrochloric acid in the solution and after the reaction of the sodium hydroxide with the hydrochloric acid the precipitate starts to form and you can see the formation of a white precipitate now we take this precipitate in another test tube and we add excess of sodium hydroxide into the precipitate Observe that on adding excess of sodium hydroxide and mixing the solution well you can see that the precipitate has dissolved and the solution has turned clear Sodium hydroxide reacted with the zinc salt forming the white precipitate of zinc hydroxide on adding excess of sodium hydroxide it dissolved due to formation of sodium zincate Now we move on to the second part We first neutralize the second part of the solution with ammonium hydroxide and then we will be adding potassium ferrocyanide. Here we move on to the second part of the solution. We will be adding ammonium hydroxide to neutralize the presence of acid in the second part of the solution. You can see that there is formation of a white precipitate indicating that the acid has been neutralized and the ammonium hydroxide has reacted with the salt forming the insoluble cation hydroxide. Now we will be adding potassium ferrocyanide into this solution. Observe that on adding the potassium ferrocyanide there is formation of a thick white precipitate.
the potassium ferrocyanide reacted with the zinc salt forming zinc ferrocyanide which is a thick white precipitate. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will not miss any content.